Okay, so today we're going to be watching a top 2.6 player, uh, this guy, Shock Ali. He's currently top 400 in the world. Uh, his best finish is top 2k. And his PB is 7700 almost. So, uh, he said he'll jump into one. Okay, he is in the game. He said he'll jump into, like, he'll do one live game and then, um. Yeah, then he said he's was going to do some replays. So, he had, like, pretty good replays. So. Yeah, he said he'll do like one live ladder and then um, the rest will be replays. Um, what's it called? What was I gonna say? Hmm, don't remember. Okay, so this is probably um, Goblin Jewel. Oh, well, this. Uh, okay, I feel sorry for this guy. Uh, Oh no, it's Cobb and Jewels. Oh, the magic archer. Yeah, this is such a hard, hard, hard counter. Like, if he had minor, it would be a, like it would be like a little bit easier. But even if he had minor, it still be a hard counter. But at least minor would be like a little bit like 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 two like maximum five percent easier, literally. Because Goblin Jewel is just so much harder to defend, and you also have to save your log for it, and you always have to, you know, like, it will always get guaranteed damage. At least a minor you can, you know, catch it sometimes. Wait, this is a hard counter. So you guys probably thought that I was the one that got to top, uh, top 500 because of, uh, probably because of the title, but there's no way in hell I can get top 500 in the world level 12 like that's just not impossible but if i was max i reckon if i was max like i would easily i already know I'll easily be top 1k top 500 yeah if i was if i was max i reckon i can easily get top 1k like like for those i don't know like a lot of people ask me this question but yes my i had a main account it got banned because i sold it to someone yeah i sold it to someone called a quick clash real then two months later i made a new account so yeah, I sold to someone, and then I got banned. And my PB in that account was um, like 8.3 or 8.2k. So yeah, I, like I've gotten like a lot of uh, my best ladder finish is like top 350. Yeah, so I can easily like you know if I'm max, I can easily start getting top ladder and stuff. But it just will take forever until I'm max. I reckon even if I'm at King Tower level 13, I can. I can maybe oh the skeleton to lucky. I can maybe get um if I'm level 13, maybe I can get top 1k if I'm like really 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 lucky with matchups and all that but yeah it'd be pretty hard. But yeah, this is this is such a hard time. I feel so bad for this guy, like this is like literally nothing you can do. 2.6 is such a bad meta, like it's it's not a good meta for 2.6. There's too many like decks that have like building in NATO and too many rocket circle decks, too many goblin drills, it's just, just not a good like 2.6 mana, it's, uh, it's, I think it's pretty hard. Yeah, this is a hard counter, so I don't think he was gonna, I don't think he's gonna play anymore live because he said he'll just do one, so, but he did, he did send some replays. But yeah, there's literally nothing, nothing you can do. He's gonna look that as well. I think the skeletons would have been uh, but Yeah, it's, this is still GG's. Hmm. Maybe no, maybe not going to turn like that. The yeah, deck is pretty good because they can just easily magic archer. So maybe like placing it like in the middle or. Like in that placement where I always like like to play against Exo, like in the, like in the middle, but in the tops, like one tower high, so they won't you can't give a fiber value because it will kill everything. It will kill the wall breakers and everything. And if he gets wall breakers in the front of Princess Tower, that will kill him. Also help it and all that stuff. But yeah, maybe the going cannon in front of the Princess Tower is the best play because it's a magic archer. But yeah, this is this is still a hard counter. Like nothing nothing you can do about it. So unlucky with the matchup, right? Yeah, I'm lucky. 
Oh, so the first game against Mr. Ahmed. So I remember I used to I used to verse this guy like ages ago, like like back when I had my account. Like I used to verse this guy, and he uses like a really weird Roy Giant deck. He has no big spell and none of that trash. So he goes for Hulk play. Oh yeah, Shock Ali is by the way on the top of the screen. So yeah, I don't think it really matters though. So he goes for Musketeer. So. I don't know if Shock knows what this guy is using, or he probably thinks the opponent is using Lava Hound, but he gets for Executioner, so... Shock, like, it's... Shock... I don't know if he knows the deck or not, like the opponent is using, but... I'm pretty sure he know, he now knows it's not going to be Lava Hound, it's Executioner. So that was a really, really nice log, actually. It pushed back, Ooh, the timing was really well. It pushed it back, and um, my Musketeer was still able to reach his... Ex his Musketeer was still able to reach the Executioner, and... Um, yeah, and the execution range is like less than Musketeer, so it didn't, wasn't able to shoot while I was getting pushed back. So yeah, timing the log is like really, really like key and important and all that. So he goes for Musketeer in the bag against electricity, I guess that's a fine play. He probably knows, I don't know if he knows what this opponent is using or not. He goes, oh, he goes hog with the, in, in the execution, I don't know, I don't know about that play actually, I think he should have went for a, with the musketeer instead, maybe, I don't know, I think, I mean, he did work out because he got, musketeer got good damage in the right lane as well, so, maybe he knew what the opponent was using, it. maybe he knew if he went hog in the right lane, with the musketeer, he would have went, um, and he would have got no value, Ooh, he pulled the cannon, no, he pulled the musketeer, but he should be fine, yeah, it should be really, like a really nice play. Ooh, okay, nice, nice last seconds, skeletons, denied uh, any goblin hits. It's gonna log, okay. Oh, that's really once again, he did a really nice log. He goes for musky and Ooh! what a play! That was actually a really, really good play. He went for a musketeer because he thought that opponent would go for like electro or something, and then he went for a when he didn't get for electro he knew the opponent would go for a fireball on the musketeers, and he predicted that was a really, really well played. Wow, that was actually ins okay. He if if the opponent had a little bit more time, I don't think uh, Shock was yeah he wasn't gonna he wasn't able to defend that push, but he played that really really well, like, especially like the last push. Okay, so his next game was was against a uh, Prime Love Balloon, and um, so this matchup, a lot of people struggle against this matchup. Like a lot of people like struggle against it, and uh, yeah. I don't know, people say 2.6 hard counters, I mean, I'm actually, I actually don't know man, I actually have no idea, because literally just one mistake in triple Alexa or something, just one mistake, you will literally lose your entire tower and, um, what's it called, and it's really hard to break through sometimes, you know, with the NATO and all oh, beautiful skeletons, he knew that problem would get for NATO, and he went for baby DC. That's why that there's skeletons. He knew that he'll get for natives. So that's why he went for skeletons with it. So he, he went with um. Uh, he had to get for a baby D, which was a really nice play. But yeah, um, uh, yeah, like it's 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 also hard to break through with hog. I mean, like they have nato, they have um bola, they even have the lumberjack, which lumberjack plus princess tower plus. King Tower activated, the Hogwarts only gets like, only, uh, will only get one hit, it's, most of the times your Hogwarts will only get like, get one hit, but, yeah, it's pretty hard, but, okay, that was a really bad balloon, if I was shocked, I would go Ice Cream Hog, yeah, no, he does, even though opponent had ball in hand, it's still a pretty good play, because, uh, the balloon guy pretty much wasted uh, like 5 elixir. I mean, the balloon did literally nothing. 
So that was a nice lock, pushed it towards the middle a little bit, so he, you know, it's just much better to be able to, to be cut it and all that, like, easier. Swing the ice cream hot probably, yep. He's gonna freeze. And look at that, no hits. He's gonna fireball, that's actually... Ooh, nice, nice, nice. He got a hit, so... It wasn't the worst fireball, because he did get a hit. Goes for cannon and okay, nice. He kept his musket alive and nice hog rider. You see how he's always, um, you know, like going in as his like, opponent is uh, making a push. And that was a pretty, you know, uh, I guess the fireball was all right. You know, it wasn't it wasn't the worst. He has to defend his info. Yeah, he does because he knew that the opponent has free, so he would have free. So that's why he needed to defend it. Okay, so I'll probably, if you want, yeah, nice cannon, I would have probably done the same thing. Okay, let's see. It's gonna hold. Ice Golem. He can probably activate King Tower. Let's see if he'll do it. He won't, okay. The opponent is up so much like here. That's pretty nice. So he's probably just gonna nade this. Yep. Okay, that was a that wasn't the worst fireball because um you know got some damage in the tower and like it did it did pretty much nothing to the bowler but yeah it's better than nothing. It's gonna musketeer, bubble everything probably. Yep, nice bubble. Oh, what? How did his musketeer stay alive? I have no idea how he protected his musketeer. I don't know how it's alive, but yeah, that was actually really. Oh, what a fireball! Yeah, this guy's playing really, really well. Shock Ali. He's playing really well. Yeah, going cannon like that against his deck is not a bad play because even if they go cannon in the opposite, you can cycle back to another um, blue, uh, cannon, so you should be, yeah, just like that, you should be fine. And the cannon will help to protect the musketeer, will help take out the bowler and everything. And yeah, really well played. This guy played this, this guy played this really, really, really well. Against, this guy's probably one of the best bloom players anyway, the fine blue guy. Alright, so the last game against this guy, Amir Sam, uh, I Shock didn't have any more um, replays because he was playing a lot of like challenges and all that stuff, so all the like you know, all the replays were gone. And um, yeah, he only had three replays. So yeah, this, this matchup is um, it's for sure 2.6 matchup because the opponent doesn't really have like a big spell, it can't really kill your. Uh, your your musketeers and the oh the mega knight that was pretty close. It's gonna fiber log it properly. Yep. Oh, that's so unlucky. If I was okay, he's gonna get a hog here. He doesn't go for a hog. Oh, I think that might have been his mistake. I think. Should have went hog because yes, even the yes the opponent the opponent spent hog free. That's eight Alexa. So even though um shock spent a lot of, like fireball log and skeletons, the opponent nowhere had enough for Meganite. So I think that was his mistake not going for a hog there. Should have went for a hog, but I guess it's fine. I mean, it's not the worst. We're just being safe. You know, is that gonna get a hit? Ooh. Okay, nice log. Okay. He doesn't is he gonna go for a hog? No, he's not. 
feel like he, he's he's had so many opportunities to go for a re what he's gonna freeze oh my day that was actually really scary i don't know why he played that so late but he should but that was pretty scary is that gonna get a hit no hits okay let's see how he'll defend this cannon Oh, what a hog rider. Did you see what he did with that hog rider? Damn, that was actually a really good play here. Because, wait, uh, Shark, wait, he placed his cannon um, on the left tile, like one tile to the left. So if he went hog rider right lane, he would have bypassed the, the, the cannon. So that's why he pushed the hog rider with his own hog rider. And not only pushed it, he, only, he also went for a counter push. Not only that, he also protected his musket. That was actually a really, really good play. He just, he, I'm pretty sure he just did it again. I didn't really see it, but yeah, this guy's playing really well. And this, this guy became good out of nowhere. Like, like he got so good out of nowhere, literally. Like he's actually playing, he's actually really, really good. Oh, wow, beautiful skeletons and ice spirit. This should be easy defense cannon, yep. He guys can up high like that so he doesn't want to he doesn't want him to freeze the uh, tower and the cannon. So that was pretty nice. Okay, yeah, he's just stacking musketeers because literally no way of him killing them. Oh wow, he's got really Oh wow. No, he's fine. Oh, Oh, damn! What just happened? Okay, nice, nice, nice. He's already he's back in um the lead right now. That actually got really, really close. Oh no! Oh, what? It's actually got really, really close. So we're gonna get that hit. Oh, nice. Beautiful log. It helps in the hog to get a hit. Well, I think he needs a fable in the log. Oh, wow. Oh, my days. I got really, really close. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.